problem is, the problem with this 2002 745, BMW, and the problem is, is to develop the coolant leak. It's a very expensive coolant leak from a seal inside. It's going to cost between seven and nine thousand dollars. And what we've done is we made a fix for that, where we can save you a lot of money to do this job out the door at All German Auto is sixteen hundred. So here on the engine, we have the intake manifold removed, so we can show you what's going on. What's happening is, in order to get to the seal, you first remove the water pump out of the car. And then you remove the valley pan, they call it, which is a cover that sits in the center of the engine. Under here is where the real problem lies. They have this uh, long tube that transitions through the motor from the front cover to the back cover that transports coolant from the water pump. And the seal sits molded onto this uh, transfer tube right here. And under normal circumstances, it can't be removed without disassembling the entire engine. You have to pull both valve covers, both timing covers, the front. Then uh, the chain and sprockets and all the timing gears on the engine, which is very time consuming. And then the front cover off to get access to this area where the seal sits. I, and I have here um, a BMW factory tube. And you can see how it has this uh, rubber seal that is vulcanized onto the part so you cannot be removed. And under normal circumstances you would have all these parts off and you would slide this tube in from the front of the engine and into the housing like this and then reassemble everything around it. So to remove this tube, you cut it while it's in the engine. And then we drill a hole in the tube that we later on use to extract it. Then we take this rear section of the coolant pipe out of the car. And we use this very special tool, which is a block of wood and a screwdriver. And we insert it like this, and we use the levers of the screwdriver to pry this tube out of the front chamber like that. This is a tube that we remove from the front, and inside the front housing, with that little uh, hook tool, you remove the factory seal like this, so you can install a new one. So here you can see the essential of the whole matter. This seal, which is vulcanized onto the tube, has uh, failed. You can see how the corrosion right here has transferred back and uh, it's starting to go underneath the seal. And this could be from lack of coolant changes or just time. You know, this seal has been sitting inside the motor for 100,000 miles and uh, corrosion and heat takes place and it eventually fails over time. And so here it is, like it's installed in the car. The rear section, the front section, and the seal that's normally vulcanized on, like you see it right here on the factory part. So here is the trick. In order to save uh, 60 some hours of labor and not having to completely disassemble the engine and pull everything apart and cylinder heads off and this and that, uh, we have uh, designed and made with the company that we use called Messier Enterprises this uh, tube that is a collapsing tube that can expand and then thread into place to provide tension on the front seal, on the back seal, and take the place of this factory unit right here, but is replaceable without having to take the entire engine apart. So here we have a special seal that we have made. We had a mold designed and manufactured so we could make just this one seal. It's made out of a different material. It's called Viton. It's a lot more resilient to corrosion, heat, and it doesn't harden up over time. So this seal, we simply lubricate it, like a little bit of grease on it like that, and then we install it into the front housing where the old seal came out of, like that. And so when the seal is in, uh, we take this tube, collapse it all the way, install it into the front housing and the back housing, expand the tube, and then start treading it into a place until we have adequate pressure on this uh, back o-ring that's going to retain and hold uh, compression on the whole tube so it can't move uh, when you use the car. That is really all there is to it. So this part takes this repair from a seven to nine thousand dollar repair and brings it down to around sixteen hundred plus you avoid all the downtime with the car which is two to three weeks under normal circumstances. You know one day you're back running and we give a, a warranty of twelve thousand and uh, one year on this car, like we do all other warranties, and this is just one of many products that 
all German Auto makes to save the customers money and keeping their German cars running.